Non-commutative ring, Wikipedia article audio. In mathematics, more specifically abstract algebra and ring theory, a non-commutative ring is a ring whose multiplication is not commutative, that is, there exists a and b in R with a a b a per thousand b a a. Many authors use the term non-commutative ring to refer to rings which are not necessarily commutative, and hence include commutative rings in their definition. Non-commutative algebra is the study of results applying to rings that are not required to be commutative. Many important results in the field of non-commutative algebra area apply to commutative rings as special cases. Examples History Differences between commutative and non-commutative algebra Important classes of non-commutative rings Division rings Semi-simple rings Semi-primitive rings Simple rings Important theorems Wedderburn's Little Theorem Artina Euro Wedderburn Theorem Jacobson Density Theorem Nakayama's Lemma Non-commutative localization Morita equivalence Brouwer group Or conditions Goldie's theorem Notes Although some authors do not assume that rings have a multiplicative identity, in this article we make that assumption unless stated otherwise. Some examples of rings which are not commutative follow. Beginning with division rings arising from geometry, the study of non-commutative rings has grown into a major area of modern algebra. The theory and exposition of non-commutative rings was expanded and refined in the 19th and 20th centuries by numerous authors. An incomplete list of such contributors includes E. Ardine, Richard Brower, P. M. Cohn, W. R. Hamilton, I. N. Hurstein, N. Jacobson, K. Morita, E. Nother, A. Or and others. Because non-commutative rings are a much larger class of rings than the commutative rings, their structure and behavior is less well understood. A great deal of work has been done successfully generalizing some results from commutative rings to non-commutative rings. A major difference between rings which are and are not commutative is the necessity to separately consider right ideals and left ideals. It is common for non-commutative ring theorists to enforce a condition on one of these types of ideals while not requiring it to hold for the opposite side. For commutative rings, the left a euro right distinction does not exist. A division ring, also called a skew field, is a ring in which division is possible. Specifically, it is a non-zero ring in which every non-zero element a has a multiplicative inverse, i.e., an element x with a a x equals x a a equals 1. Stated differently, a ring is a division ring if and only if the group of units equals the set of all non-zero elements. Division rings differ from fields only in that their multiplication is not required to be commutative. However, by Wedderburn's little theorem all finite division rings are commutative and therefore finite fields. Historically, division rings were sometimes referred to as fields, while fields were called a euro accommodative fields a euro. A module over a ring with unity is said to be semi-simple if it is the direct sum of simple submodules. A ring is said to be semi-simple if it is semi-simple as a left module over itself. Surprisingly, a left semi-simple ring is also right semi-simple and vice versa. The left-slash-right distinction is therefore unnecessary. A semi-primitive ring or Jacobson semi-simple ring or J semi-simple ring is a ring whose Jacobson radical is zero. 
This is a type of ring more general than a semi-simple ring, but where simple modules still provide enough information about the ring. Rings such as the ring of integers are semi-primitive, and an Artinian semi-primitive ring is just a semi-simple ring. Semi-primitive rings can be understood as subdirect products of primitive rings, which are described by the Jacobson density theorem. A simple ring is a non-zero ring that has no two-sided ideal besides the zero ideal and itself. A simple ring can always be considered as a simple algebra. Rings which are simple as rings but not as modules do exist. The full matrix ring over a field does not have any non-trivial ideals is of the form M with I an ideal of R, but has non-trivial left ideals. According to the Artina Euro Wedderburn theorem, every simple ring that is left or right Artinian is a matrix ring over a division ring. In particular, the only simple rings that are a finite dimensional vector space over the real numbers are rings of matrices over either the real numbers, the complex numbers, or the quaternions. Any quotient of a ring by a maximal ideal is a simple ring. In particular, a field is a simple ring. A ring R is simple if and only its opposite ring RO is simple. An example of a simple ring that is not a matrix ring over a division ring is the Weyl algebra. Wedderburn's little theorem states that every finite domain is a field. In other words, for finite rings, there is no distinction between domains, skew fields, and fields. The Artina Euro Zorn theorem generalizes the theorem to alternative rings. Every finite simple alternative ring is a field. The Artina Euro Wedderburn theorem is a classification theorem for semi simple rings and semi simple algebras. The theorem states that an semi simple ring R is isomorphic to a product of finitely many Ni by Ni matrix rings over division rings Di, for some integers Ni, both of which are uniquely determined up to permutation of the index I. In particular, any simple left or right Artinian ring is isomorphic to an n by n matrix ring over a division ring D, where both n and D are uniquely determined. As a direct corollary, the Artina Euro Wedderburn theorem implies that every simple ring that is finite dimensional over a division ring is a matrix ring. This is Joseph Wedderburn's original result. Emil Ardine later generalized it to the case of Artinian rings. The Jacobson density theorem is a theorem concerning simple modules over a ring R. The theorem can be applied to show that any primitive ring can be viewed as a dense subring of the ring of linear transformations of a vector space. This theorem first appeared in the literature in 1945 in the famous paper Structure Theory of Simple Rings Without Finiteness Assumptions by Nathan Jacobson. This can be viewed as a kind of generalization of the Artin wedderburn theorem's conclusion about the structure of simple Artinian rings. More formally, the theorem can be stated as follows. Let J be the Jacobson radical of R. If U is a right module over a ring, R, and I is a right ideal in R, then define UAI to be the set of all sums of elements of the form UAI, where A is simply the action of R on U necessarily, UAI is a submodule of U. If V is a maximal submodule of U, then U slash V is simple. So UAJ is necessarily a subset of V by the definition of J and the fact that U slash V is simple. Thus, if U contains at least one maximal submodule, UAJ is a proper submodule of U. However, this need not hold for arbitrary modules U over R, for U need not contain any maximal submodules. Naturally, if U is a Notharian module, this holds. If R is Notharian, and U is finitely generated, 
then U is a Notharian module over R, and the conclusion is satisfied. Somewhat remarkable is that the weaker assumption, namely that U is finitely generated as an R module, is sufficient to guarantee the conclusion. This is essentially the statement of Nakayama's lemma. Precisely, one has the following. A version of the lemma holds for right modules over non-commutative unitary rings R. The resulting theorem is sometimes known as the jacobson euro azumea theorem. Localization is a systematic method of adding multiplicative inverses to a ring, and is usually applied to commutative rings. Given a ring R and a subset S, one wants to construct some ring R asterisk and ring homomorphism from R to R, such that the image of S consists of units in R. Further one wants R asterisk to be the best possible or most general way to do this a euro in the usual fashion this should be expressed by a universal property. The localization of R by S is usually denoted by SA1R, however other notations are used in some important special cases. If S is the set of the non-zero elements of an integral domain, then the localization is the field of fractions and thus usually denoted frac. Localizing non-commutative rings is more difficult, the localization does not exist for every set S of prospective units. One condition which ensures that the localization exists is the OR condition. One case for non-commutative rings where localization has a clear interest is for rings of differential operators. It has the interpretation, for example, of adjoining a formal inverse DA1 for a differentiation operator D. This is done in many contexts in methods for differential equations. There is now a large mathematical theory about it, named microlocalization, connecting with numerous other branches. The micro tag is to do with connections with Fourier theory, in particular. Morita equivalence is a relationship defined between rings that preserves many ring theoretic properties. It is named after Japanese mathematician Kiyidi Morita who defined equivalence and a similar notion of duality in 1958. Two rings R and S are said to be equivalent if there is an equivalence of the category of modules over R, R mod, and the category of modules over S, S mod. It can be shown that the left module categories R mod and S mod are equivalent if and only if the right module categories mod R and mod S are equivalent. Further it can be shown that any functor from R mod to S mod that yields an equivalence is automatically additive. The matrix ring of N by N matrices over the real numbers, where N1, Hamilton's quaternions, any group ring made from a group that is not abelian, the free ring, z, i, x, 1, a euro, x, n, i copyright, backslash langley x backslash l dots x backslash wrangle, generated by a finite set, an example of two non-equal elements are, 2, x, 1, x, 2, plus, x, 2, x, 1, a per thousand, 3, x, 1, x, 2, x and x x backslash nic 3 x x, the whale algebra, a, n, c, is the ring of polynomial differential operators defined over a fine space, for example, a, 1, c, a per thousand, c, i, x, y, i copyright slash, x, y, a, y, x, a, 1, backslash kong backslash, math backslash lang li x y backslash wrangle slash, where the ideal corresponds to the commutator, the quotient ring, c, i, x, 1, a euro, x, n, I copyright slash, 
X, I, X, J, A, Q, I, J, X, J, X, I, backslash Langley X backslash L dots X backslash Wrangle slash, where they, Q, I, J, A, C, backslash and backslash math, is called a quantum plane. Any Clifford algebra can be described explicitly using an algebra presentation, given an f vector space v of dimension n within a quadratic form q v a with circumflex v a f. The associated Clifford algebra has the presentation f i e 1 a euro e n. I copyright slash E I E J plus E J E I A Q E I E J backslash Langley E backslash L dots E backslash Wrangle slash for any basis E one A Euro E N comma backslash L dots E of V. Super algebras are another example of non commutative rings. They can be presented as C, X, 1, A euro, X, N, I, I, 1, A euro, I, M, I copyright slash, I, 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 J, plus, I, J, I, I, Backslash Lang Lee backslash theta backslash L dots backslash theta backslash wrangle slash. The Brouwer group of a field K is an abelian group whose elements are Morita equivalence classes of central simple algebras of finite rank over K and addition is induced by the tensor product of algebras. It arose out of attempts to classify division algebras over a field and is named after the algebraist Richard Brouwer. The group may also be defined in terms of Galois cohomology. More generally, the Brouwer group of a scheme is defined in terms of Azumea algebras. The OR condition is a condition introduced by A. Esteen OR, in connection with the question of extending beyond commutative rings the construction of a field of fractions, or more generally localization of a ring. The right OR condition for a multiplicative subset S of a ring R is that for A A R and S A S, the intersection as A copyright S R A per thousand A. A domain that satisfies the right OR condition is called a right OR domain. The left case is defined similarly. In mathematics, Goldie's theorem is a basic structural result in ring theory proved by Alfred Goldie during the 1950s. What is now termed a right Goldie ring is a ring R that has finite uniform dimension as a right module over itself, and satisfies the ascending chain condition on right annihilators of subsets of R. Goldie's theorem states that the semi-prime right Goldie rings are precisely those that have a semi-simple Artinian right classical ring of quotients. The structure of this ring of quotients is then completely determined by the artina euro wedderburn theorem. In particular, Goldie's theorem applies to semi-prime right Notharian rings, since by definition right Notharian rings have the ascending chain condition on all right ideals. This is sufficient to guarantee that a right Noetherian ring is right Goldie. The converse does not hold. Every right or domain is a right Goldie domain, and hence so is every commutative integral domain. A consequence of Goldie's theorem, again due to Goldie, is that every semi-prime principal right ideal ring is isomorphic to a finite direct sum of prime principal right ideal rings. Every prime principal right ideal ring is isomorphic to a matrix ring over a right or domain.